Hi everybody, I'm Ken. I'm a lie detector. <laughs> you may not know what a lie detector is, but that's why I've made this first episode, so that you may understand. For I have a doozy of an investigation that led me to the banks of the Mississippi. So here we go. What? It all started one day when I was randomly siphoning through my incident frequency modulator. It measures uh, various voice frequencies that are floating through the ether. And one particular message stood out to me and I felt I had to follow this up, do a little bit more research. It sort of took me by surprise, but I decided to go with this. The message that I locked into uh, was a frequency that was coming from a location, as far as I could tell, based on what the modulator was telling me. It was coming from a town called Blue Hawk, and it'd be on the Mississippi River. So I decided that I'm going to have to load up my van and head down there. When I got to Blue Hawk, I was surprised to find out that there was two bridges, a double bridge. I love bridges. In fact, I collect images of bridges. And so I decided to drive over it first and get to the other side. My first time over the bridge, there didn't seem to be anything unusual. So I drove a little bit further, turned around and started back towards the river to go over the bridge again. And it was at that point I realized that this bridge was a double bridge for sure. I had no idea that I would encounter something like this because how often do you see two bridges going over a river? That day I felt I was living in a world of twos or duality. As I said before, I felt that day I was living in a world of twos. On my way home, it took me twice as long. While I was driving, it felt like I had double vision. I also realized that day it was Tuesday. I think it ties in with the dual nature of our existence, duality, being emotion, logic, chaos, order. Spirituality, science, free will, destiny, good, bad, happy, sad, left, right, pro, anti, red pill, blue pill, coke, pepsi, yes, no, up, down, heaven, hell, black, white, and high, and low. Duality is around us. Duality is there every day.
Hi, this is Ken, and this is the portion of the show where I invite my viewers to call in. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach us at the number on the screen, and I'll be happy to address any questions or comments that you may have. So feel free to call. Hmm. As you can see, I'm on my incident frequency modulator again, and I'm sensing some energy in the house. Oh, yep. Yeah. I, yep. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Teddy. I'm a time traveler. A time traveler? Man, I can't believe some of the places I end up. I can't stick around too long. In the future, the government puts chips in everyone's head. They're tracking me. I knew they were going to do that. I got to get out of here. Boy, I sure do meet a lot of interesting people. And now it's time for a word from our sponsor. Oh yeah, before I forget, my investigation into the double bridge also included something else that I haven't brought up yet. Once I drove over the bridge a second time, I decided to pull down along the embankment of the river and pull out my corny phone. It is designed to collect frequency data. Once I was able to collect this data, I had no idea at that point what it was trying to tell me. There were a number of frequencies crisscrossing. So I brought it back to my office where I could decipher it and get a sense of what it's trying to tell me. Ken. Ken. Conspiracy. The world is filled with lies and deceit. Powerful forces are trying to control what we eat contaminate the air that we breathe, and even manipulate how we perceive reality. You must seek the truth and enlighten the world on what you find. It won't be easy, Ken. The hours will be long and filled with endless toil. Your life will be in danger as powerful forces try to silence you. Trust no one and question everything. And above all, have fun doing it. Good luck, Ken. I have to go now. I think I've been spotted. I'll keep in touch with you. This tape will not self-destruct. We don't have the budget for that. I know this is my first episode, and I pursued this the best I could. I think I've come up with a few good explanations or conclusions, but I still feel there's going to be many more bridges to cross. I still think on the other side of those bridges, there's a lot of mystery. 
and a lot of things we don't know about. Everything. This is a recording.